Hey everyone, and welcome to r slash chill, where we look at some of the best stories found on the internet. Today, we're visiting r slash mildly infuriating, and if you're not raging by the end of this video, then I am doing something wrong. But trust me, these posts are awesome, so grab a coffee, put on your seatbelt, and get ready to enjoy the ride. This is really bothering me in my new flat. And yeah, as it should, someone really did a bit of a botched job. Come on, line up the heat source with the actual picture. And you know the best part? The builders probably tested it and were like, stuff it, can't be bothered changing it, let's just leave it. Ah, how my parents fill up the soap bottle with water over and over until it's just pure water. What a classic, I've done this so many times in my life. Got this today. Message failed to send 185 days ago. Thanks Apple for your timely reminder. I mean, honestly, you'd be better off sending an actual letter to someone at this rate. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed those first couple of posts, and if you did, make sure to go down and hit that like button. That's something that really helps my channel get discovered, but don't worry, there are plenty, plenty, plenty more funny posts to come, so let's keep going with the video. More than a hundred kids were waiting to see this historic steam train in England. Wait for it! Wait for it! Come on, it's coming! It's coming! I can hear it! It's so, so, so close! Come on, where is it? It's coming! I know it is! It's there! It's there! Look, it's a steam train! Look, it's so big! What? And then the disappointment hits us. Ah. And it just keeps going and going. Like, it doesn't stop. I'm not sure where in the world you get passenger trains that are this long. Well, I mean, they got to see a little bit at the end. What could be more satisfying than a video like this one? The ball just keeps swinging and swinging, getting through every single... Yeah, no, that definitely didn't work quite as planned. Oh, that's sad. This is relatable on too many levels. So wait, what? Wait a second. Cheddar, is this, is this cheese in a bottle like that? Guys, tell me in the comments below. Is this cheese or is this like juice? Like what is this carton filled with? Ooh, this one strikes a bit close to home. Every job application. Step one, upload your resume. Step two, re-enter all the same stuff that's already on your resume. Oh, especially any sort of entry-level retail jobs. Yeah, just too relatable. I think they don't even read your resume. Why, oh why, oh why, oh why can someone not use a ruler and measure this properly? I laughed at other people. Wow, I said. Sucks for their family, I said. And now, my own family betrayed me. I have no words. Ooh, sucks to be you, my friend. And uh, why is the roll sitting so far down? Like, what's the point of the thing covering it if it's sitting below that thing covering it anyway? I think I found a door designed for aliens. I'm also curious what room it leads into. All right, let's just put this last tile on. Where was it? Where what, what, where's, where's my last tile? Where's, wh wh where's my last tile? I had exactly 364 tiles. I have placed 363. Where is number 364? Oh no, of course, of course. It had to break and someone had to throw it out. I guess I'll just have to put whatever I can find in there. If you can't drive, stay in the slower lane. According to the title of this post, this is toilet paper. That, that is not even tissue paper. My primary school had a higher budget for arts and crafts than this toilet paper. The expectation. Let's paint the walls white. In reality, we've got mountain peak white, cotton balls, white opulence, white water bay, white heron, white ice, alabaster, cloud white, atrium white, linen white, white diamond, and baby's breath. But look at, look at linen white. That's just straight up yellow. I reckon pale almond down in the very bottom corner is almost the same colour as linen white. This is almost like a personal insult. Just if you have thought of something like this, you have an evil mind. Rumour has it, the board is still there to this day. Oh, the comments on this one are pretty original. Just suck it out, says Abrox Strife. No, seriously, use a vacuum or use your mouth to suck it out. But nope, some people have better suggestions, drill a hole in it, and now your sink has a new carpet, and I reckon I prefer that version. Ooh, I don't know how many people have experienced this, but yeah, the total of $16 plus $54 shipping. I hate that when ordering anything online, it's so annoying. It's like, buy this, it's only $5, or it's only $10, you're like, wow, $5, what a great bargain, and you look at the shipping and it's like 105 and you just want to cry somewhere. 
Wow, love it. A straw that is literally pointless. Hey guys, do, do, do you reckon, do you reckon they'll notice? No, 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 it's, it's all straight, it's all, like, it looks, lo looks fine, looks completely fine, look outside, it's just, it's, it's all good. No, no, I, th I think, I think they'll notice, I think they'll notice. No, 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 it's, uh, trust me, it's, it's, it's all good, I've done this all, I've done this plenty of times before. And judging by the number of posts like this in this subreddit, yes, it has been done many times before. Because what is this window? Oh, sucks to be you, mate. Oh, it doesn't feel good. But, I mean, to be fair, if you're ordering your, you know, 16 large burgers, it'll take a bit longer than someone who's ordering a soft serve. No, no, no way. I've been, I've been cheated before by advertising, but, but not this bad. Look, look at that. Like, the top, like, in the picture, it's like a jam-filled biscuit. Like, down here, it's just like a tiny little drop. That's like buying a packet of chips and it being half empty. Oh, we've all had this one done to us. When you open a pizza and three slices make up half the pizza. Or, you know, even four pizzas make up like two thirds, like a solid two thirds. And then the other four slices are just like smudged together. Annoying, but hey, if you're the first one there, just grab a big piece and don't complain. Like, no, no one has to know. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but then this one doesn't annoy me too much. If this sort of stuff, like, tell me in the comments below, does this stuff really annoy people? Because I don't, I don't really mind it. Oh, that's so sad. Puzzle, like a one missing puzzle piece. Oh, that looks like a big puzzle as well, like a thousand pieces or something. That just sucks because it could have been like vacuumed up or something. Like, you're not finding that anymore. Oh, okay. At least it's not just me who can't open a box. It's just the boxes. Okay, good, good. What? I'm so confused by this one. I mean, like, at first I thought this was just bites out of donuts, but now that I'm taking a closer look, I think people were cutting bits of donut off. Like, it was a big box to share. And so everyone would just take a bit of each donut and sort of try a bit here, try a bit there, but still. They need to stop justifying these people. No one eats donuts like that, and no one should. Whoa, someone's getting pranked a bit there. $89.99 and on sale for $94.99? I've seen cheeky stuff like this before, but it'll be like the old price tag, like $2.99 underneath, and then the price on top will be like, new price, $2.99, and you're like, whoa. And I'm tr I'm like, I'm, re I'm double checking that, that it's the same product, and yeah, it's, it's exactly the same thing. Baby dolphin killed after tourists pull it from the ocean to take selfies. Come on guys, just keep fish in the sea, don't do dumb things. Ordered that, got this. Wow, what happened there? Yeah, no, you, you got pranked. Stop stop shopping on wish.com. It, it, it ain't it ain't gonna end it, 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 it that that it ain't gonna end well. And guys, I might just slap a few on the end here because I feel like this video isn't too long. I'll slap on a few posts from r slash rare insults. This is a subreddit I've been following for a while but haven't really had enough content to make a full video and I think they'll fit in nicely at the end over here. That is some professional level cropping. I've seen better crops during the Irish potato famine. Whoa, what a roast! But also so rare and unique, this is truly a rare insult and uh, yeah, some of these are really amazing. You should go follow this subreddit. Whoa, a friend got hit with this on Discord today. I would shoot you in the head, but I don't think it would affect anything. Logan Paul was just on Fox Business and, well, it was something. He has the same exact energy of a frat boy who's taken one economics course and now refers to himself as a venture capitalist because he does forex trading. Oddly specific, yet spot on. Um, I've never seen this interview. Could someone link it in the comments down below if you know what it is? And probably my favorite rare insult of them all. I love Irish slang, like it's the most creative craft ever. Today, I heard a coffin being referred to as a wooden onesie in the sentence, Ah, Jesus, my nanny looks better than ya, and she's in a bleeding wooden onesie. It was honestly life-changing. Alright everyone, thanks for chilling with me. I hope you enjoyed this installment of r slash mildly infuriating, and if you did, subscribe to the channel for Reddit videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Also, tell me in the comments below whether you like these sorts of videos more or more of the narration style entitled Parent Pro Revenge Stories. Because, you know, I want to be making what you guys want to see. So, yes, definitely tell me in the comments down below. But for now, guys, I hope you all enjoyed. That's it from me. And all I want to do is see you all here next time. 
See you later, guys.